Hey everyone, welcome to Spinning the Chain Web with Crypto Spider. Tonight I'm going to be doing a video about Kadena. I want to go over some of the features that I think makes it unique from other projects and some of the things I love about it. Give you all a nice in-depth look at what Kadena is and why I personally think it's the best blockchain. All right, let's go. So what is Kadena, KDA? Kadena is a sharded, decentralized, secure, scalable layer one blockchain. Kadena is the only project so far to solve the blockchain trilemma. The blockchain trilemma is basically security, scalability, and decentralization. No other project has been able to do all three uh, until Kadena. Kadena is a proof of work blockchain, which means transactions are processed by miners. Miners are the machines that process the transactions. Kadena is secure and decentralized due to the use of miners. Kadena is scalable by having multiple Bitcoin-like blockchains working in parallel to execute transactions, also known as the chain web. With the use of crypto gas stations, transactions on Kadena will be virtually gas-free. Kadena uses a smart contract code called PACT, which is secure, human-readable, and easy to learn. Kadena key features, formal verification. This is a feature of PACT that lets developers automatically verify whether their code has any bugs or loopholes through mathematical computation. Think of the formal verification tool as a Grammarly tool of coding. Formal verification in PACT is designed to not only tell you whether your smart contract can execute what you intended, but also verify whether it will perform no other actions besides your intended programming. Blockchain governments. Unlike Solidity-based contracts, PACT smart contracts can be updated, altered, and fixed via an updated system that allows users to declare new versions of a smart contract that are only applied when the new code has been properly run. Any faults will cause the smart contracts to revert to their original state and prevent any further damage. Smart contract security. To understand the smart contract security of using PACT, we must first understand the concept of Turing completeness in a programming languages. To describe it simply, Turing completeness refers to the programming language's ability to express all possible programs or functions. In non-technical speak, it refers to whether a program language is all powerful and unlimited in its application according to modern computer standards for building all types of programs. PAC was purposefully designed to be Turing incomplete language, unlike Ethereum Solidity, which is Turing complete language. While it is true that Turing complete languages are much more diverse and powerful in terms of their programming capabilities, they also offer a wider range of options to bad actors to exploit or attack a program or code. Most blockchain applications currently being run do not require the full range of features that Turing Complete Language offers. Therefore, Turing Incomplete Language like PAC can offer all the programming functionality needed for most smart contracts and the applications that run are even more secure. One of the key functions that give rise to a variety of attacks in Turing Complete programming on the blockchain is recursion. Recursion refers to a program's ability to loop an action until a specific condition is met for it to terminate. In a Turing incomplete language like PAC, any recursion that is detected will cause an immediate failure and terminate all running code. This feature significantly reduces any potential attack vectors that may present in smart contracts. It's said that about 75% of the coding errors in other coding languages could be solved uh, just by using PAC. Scalability with sharding. The element of sharding helps in the scalability of the blockchain as each shard is only concerned with a small subset of transactions in the whole blockchain. Therefore, this leads to an increase in throughput as each shard in the chain can simultaneously process transactions and produce blocks. The more shards in the blockchain, the more transactions in the blockchain can process. This also gives developers near limitless storage capacity for their dApps. Braiding. Braiding chains together was first proposed for security purposes. In effect, chains are braided as each chain's newly mined blocks incorporates the Merkle groups of its peer chains. By having multiple mine blocks at the same height, each referencing each other's past, the protocol decreases the duration of time where an attacker could get lucky against an honest network. Think of an attacker needing to flip six coins and getting all heads, mine six blocks, versus needing to flip 12 coins and get all heads, mine six blocks from two related chains. The latter is harder. This same intuition applies to Kadena's multi-chain configuration. The ability of Kadena's blockchain to add more chains will increase the throughput as needed. When Kadena increased from 10 to 20 chains, it doubled its throughput. Kadena is said to be able to scale to a thousand chains or more. The more chains the blockchain has, the more transactions it can process, which allows for enough throughput for worldwide institutional use. 
Cadena is said to be able to perform 480,000 per transactions per second. Another cool feature about adding more chains is it doesn't increase the power usage of the miners. So Cadena would be able to scale without needing an increase in power consumption. Here's an infographic with Cadena versus other chains and services and what their transactions per second, including PayPal, you look at Visa. So Cadena is far more scalable than basically anything else. Proof of work. Proof of work is a decentralized consensus mechanism that requires members of a network, miners, to expend effort solving an arbitrary mathematical puzzle to prevent anybody from gaming the system. Proof of work is used widely in cryptocurrency mining for validating transactions and mining new tokens. Due to proof of work, Cadena and other cryptocurrency transactions can be processed peer to peer in a secure manner without the need of a trusted third party. Cadena uses a smart contract language called PAC that was designed to be readable by humans and verifiable by computers. Rather than requiring the storage and invocation of large streams of lower level bytecode like the EVM, the code stored within the blockchain is exactly what the application developers wrote and is legible in its original form. PACT also provides a safe solution to implementing business logic on a blockchain, such as enforcing rules with unambiguous error messages on failure, modeling and maintaining a database schemas, and authorizing users to perform sensitive operations. It was purposefully designed to be Turing incomplete with the belief that such use cases are ill-suited in a resource-constrained blockchain environment. This property allows for formal verification where code is transformed into a mathematical model of its functionality, which is then used to prove that properties that of that model satisfy certain conditions. Eight out of 11 exploits last year and more than $852 million wouldn't have happened if PACT was used. Curo is Kadena's next generation private permissioned blockchain distributed ledger. It can use the smart contract language PACT to allow developers to write distributed applications. Originally, Kuro's Community Edition could be trialed on AWS Marketplace and Microsoft Azure with some limitation, but now it's generally available as an open source project. Marmalade on Cadena provides the complete infrastructure to launch and run game-changing NFT marketplaces. Unlike other markets, Marmalade offers 100% on-chain transactions, high-quality provenance, low gas fees, and shared ownership that can span platforms. Marmalade NFTs meant on chain with the rich manifest, capturing all references and artifacts and Merkle trees that identify items as well as their complete version history. It's said that the NFTs on Marmalade can be upgraded to something else or added to, but then downgraded again also if you want, you want to return it back to the original form. Here's a chart of uh, Kadena versus other blockchains. It shows the consensus mechanism decentralization level, scalability, transaction throughput, fees, finality, governance, governance supervision, what was their ICO coin sale, and then max supply. So I'm not going to go over this whole chart, but you can pause the video if you'd like and just kind of look over some of the comparisons of Cadena versus other blockchains. Partnership with Flux. Cadena has partnered with Flux. Flux is the new generation of scalable decentralized cloud infrastructure. This allows for projects to simply develop, manage, and spawn applications on multiple servers at once. Flux provides a critical, high availability infrastructure for Web3, the new internet. Here's some of their partnerships. Team, Stuart Popejoy, previously led JP Morgan's Emerging Blockchain Group and has 15 years of experience building trading systems and exchange backbones for the financial industry. Will Martino, Previously served as lead engineer for Juno, JP Morgan's blockchain prototype, and was also tech lead for the SEC's Cryptocurrency Steering Committee and Qualitative Analytics Unit. Dr. Stuart Haber, the co-inventor of blockchain, 20 years before Bitcoin was born, and the most cited author in Satoshi Nakamoto's renowned 2008 Bitcoin white paper. Other team members have previously worked for Google, Apple, Microsoft, Disney, HP, Twitter, Haskell Foundation, and Formation, just to name a few. Here's some of the main team members. We got Will Martino, Stuart Haber, Stuart Popejoy, Gregory Collins, Emily Pillmore, and Dr. Lars Coots. Cadena's tokenomics: a max supply of one billion, total coins in the economy nine hundred ninety million, mining share seven hundred million, platform shares two hundred million, investor strategic and contributors ninety million, and then there was ten million burned at launch. Here's the completed roadmap. I'm not going to go over this, but you can pause the video if you'd like to read it. Upcoming roadmap, 
Again, I'm not gonna go over all this, but you're welcome to pause the video and look over this. So here are the exchanges to buy. Again, I'm not gonna go over this for the sake of time. You're welcome to look over this and pause the video. Wallets. Here are the wallets that are currently available to use on the Kadena network. You have Chainweaver, which is the official Kadena wallet for advanced blockchain usage and smart contract development. X Wallet, developed by Cadex, the Dex on Kadena. Clean UI and user friendly. A browser extension wallet similar to MetaMask, Phantom Wallets, mobile support soon. Zellcore, multi chain wallet with lots of features, desktop and mobile supported. Hypercent Wallet, developed by Hypercent, a launchpad NFT plus marketplace on Kadena. And there's a hearsay that there'll be an, uh, NFT integrations on the Hypercent wallet soon. Here's some of the DEXs that are currently available for Kadena. Anadec, KD Swap, Cadex, and Night Dex. Night Dex, I don't believe is currently up and running, but I believe it will be soon. Um, the other three are up and running for use, and you can pick up some of the other coins that are available in the Kadena network on those DEXs. And here's the Kadena info. Again, I won't go over this, but website, Twitter, Discord, Medium, Telegram, YouTube, and GitHub. Just some information there where you can look up more about Kadena. So that's it. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Hope it was informational. I really enjoy doing these videos for y'all. So I hope y'all like them. Much love everyone.